Hi guys, this is Sims191 Con here. Good morning to everyone. Yes, I am recording this in the morning. Um, I was up last night. As usual, I was doing quite some research and I was going above and about some topics which I'm really quite interested in. And I just wanted to make a few things clear since my last video was a few thoughts. It was a few ideas which was on my mind and at that time I did have quite a substantial amount of knowledge and I do have a, a lot of knowledge on this subject and I just want to touch up on a few more things and clear a few more ideas and really show where my channel is headed in the future because what I want people to know I want people to open their minds and find out what's really going on out there and I've been doing this so myself looking into conspiracy theories and stuff and it's not a it's no longer a conspiracy theory for me i think i've known quite a lot i know exactly what's going on it makes a lot of sense to me but obviously to a person who does not have any knowledge on this who's coming just above and about the subject yeah yeah just touching the surface of the subject they'll know that it just doesn't make sense in the beginning but throughout if you research this stuff if you find out more you will know more so I'm going to touch on a subject which um, I was researching last night and that was Rick Clay. Now Rick Clay was this guy, um, he found out all of this stuff about the Olympics like 4-5 or five years ago. He found out about all these connections, like the site of the Olympics, um, exactly what sort of roads are around it, exactly what sort of people are involved, um, what it has to do with like bloodlines and stuff. and it was quite a shock like because I found out that they had done a few how do I say um they done a few exercises uh on the River Thames where they were it was like they like exercises pretend that there's a terrorist attack or something that's gonna happen in London or how would they deal with it let's say once the trains blew up and stuff how would they deal with it now I've been playing my games and uh Modern Warfare 3 was released last year um back in november and when i first played the game um the storyline showed a little about um what would happen in london and like these gas attacks in it um the story of which was uh you basically in the game you're in london uh a girl's walking by the man's recording on his camera yeah and there's a truck that stops by and the girl's in front of the truck the truck blows up what comes out of the truck whole load of toxic gas and what I've been doing is quite some research on like biological weapons and stuff that they can that they might use and I came across something quite astonishing I found out that under the Olympic site was actually this old nuclear site that was there before that was an old nuclear site well old and it was just an empty wasteland and it was in the middle of Leighton and Leighton Stone and, and the area ha of which had been um, the area there before was quite it was empty it was the only free space they could find and apparently it was there so they used it for the stadium and it was big enough but before there was a apparently a, a nuclear station there and I went in and I found out a whole bunch of stuff and then I w came across this one show called uh, Spooks Code 9 and then I looked I watched most of it and it gave me quite a rough idea of exactly what they were expecting if there was a so called terrorist attack in London and what they were expecting was actually a biological like nuclear attack you know like what happened to the Japanese Nagasaki Hiroshima that stuff like actual nukes blowing up and stuff yeah and that stuff to be honest freaked me out because a nuke a nuclear attack not only means that people will die but it means there will be consequences afterwards so if there was a nuclear attack people would die and then the generations afterwards will also be hurt because of that attack so let's say a nuke went off yeah babies would be born deformed people would just have natural Ill illnesses quicker and it kill off people and I found out that the main agenda of the new world order would be to 
I guess it be to really, in a way, they really want to, like, go out there and search this stuff for yourself. I'm not going to touch more on the subject. I'm just going to say, yeah, what I found out is quite astonishing. And if there ever does be this sort of nuclear attack or anything here, the only way you can prevent it is by letting more people know about um, the Olympics and everything. Because I've seen those little mascots for the Olympics. And those things look scary to me with the whole one eye thing going on and then they just look messed up to me and I think the people that are making this stuff they they messed up in the head, seriously messed up in the head and this whole regime, this agenda they're pushing is really freaky and it really messes with my mind. I, I have problems going to sleep each night just knowing this sort of stuff. It's really freaky, it really messes with my mind. And I just want you lot to go on a few channels like research like really find out open your minds exactly find out exactly what's going on because me myself i can only tell you so much i can lead you in a direction but for you it's a path that you have to follow go out there research exactly what's going on look you look into conspiracy if you want to start look into 9 11 look into what happened there look at the towers look at the planes look at what uh, was there beforehand I mean I've seen uh, the Simpsons there was this little Lisa holding up the brochure and it said nine dollars and then the two towers yeah the, the, the two towers making it nine eleven and this whole sort of thing about with the numerology and the towers and everything and just have a good look at it like have a good look find out exactly what's going on so first I'm gonna just make it clear a few things that you should always touch upon find out about the twin towers found out find out about the terrorist attacks and find out about the religious beliefs of these people and make yourself aware know what's out there most people say oh this is a money-making scheme they're making money off this putting thoughts in people's head this this that those people obviously do not know what's going on just find out for yourself do not believe in the mainstream media and let yourself know exactly what's going on. So, Ims one and one can't say.